Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we'll talk about how you can actually clear out your temporary files, cache files in your in your Samsung phone. So why even do that? So the, the advantage of uh, clearing out your cache files or temporary files from your phone is actually it makes your phone faster, it increases your memory space, and it also in increases your battery life. So we'll break this video into two parts. So first part will actually cover how you can actually clear out cache from a specific app in your phone. For, for instance, if you're, you know, one of your apps is actually facing problems while loading up, uh, clearing out your cache or temporary files for, uh, only for that app might actually solve that issue. And the second part of the video will, will cover how you can actually uh, clear, clear out uh, temporary files or, or cache files generally from entire phone. So without wasting any time, let me grab my phone and I'll walk you through. Okay, our first part of the video is actually to clear cache from a specific app. So what you need to do, you need to actually go to your settings. So I'm going to click on this settings button and you should go to apps. So this, this section will actually contain all of your apps and using this section, you can actually clear your cache from um, all of these apps individually. So for this video, I'm going to use uh, five miles, this app, for example, and uh, suppose uh, this app is actually having uh, some, some problems while loading up or some issues. Uh, and I want to actually clear, you know, temporary files with this app. Well, I need to go to this section and click on this app. It will uh, give me more options. And what I need to do, I, I actually need to go to this storage section, click on this button. And you, you can see that the total uh, memory used by this app is actually 51.89 MB. And uh, the app uses 49 MB and data and, you know, cache is of 65 KB. So if you click on the clear cache button, it will actually de uh, delete and, or re uh, remove all of the cache related to this app so i'm going to do this for now and you can see the cache actually turns out to zero and the clear data button is actually uh, to reset this app uh, if you if you click on clear data the app will be reset like you you just in, uh, install the app like just now fresh installation and all of your data related to this app will be uh, removed for example um, if you clear data on your gaming app your all of your progress in your in your app will be removed will be deleted and it will be reset to zero so I'm just going to click on the clear data now and it will give you a pop-up box saying that all of your um, files, settings, accounts, databases, etc. Et related to this app will be removed. Are you sure? If you are sure, then click delete. Otherwise, you can click cancel. I'm not going to delete, but uh, you can do that. And this way you can actually clear the cache as well as your application specific data uh, from this um, apps menu. And this concludes our first part of the video. And now uh, let's move on to the second part of the video which is actually to clear out temporary files and other cache data from your in entire phone. So what you need to do, just stay in your uh, settings and uh, look for this button called device management. Click on this and it, it's gonna like calculate your phone's maintenance status, uh, which is like kind of excellent for me now because I, 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 I keep deleting my temporary stuff or cache files uh, like periodically. So that's why it's actually good right now. But it might be different for you if, if you have not done this in a while. At the bottom you see like there are a few four options. Battery, performance mode, storage and memory. We're gonna make use of the storage and memory. So just click on the storage for now. If you press this clean now button, you will gain, gain like 662 MB of memory, which is a lot. And uh, like these are the individual uh, apps and videos and images document that, you know, the memory used by these. But before that, I wanna show you one more thing. Just click on that this menu button on top right. And now click on get more space. You can see uh, here that you have uh, more files, like unnecessary files, uh, 196 KB for me, but it might be different for you. It might be larger than for you. Uh, these are all the temporary log and empty files that you can get rid of. The phone also tells you that th these are all uh, unnecessary files and it's actually safe to delete them. So I'll uh, just click on this button to select all and just click on the delete button. So all of your temporary or unnecessary files have been deleted. And as you can see, the, it's now actually showing me unnecessary files are zero. Uh, there are a couple of other files like large files or un unused files. Large files are, are the files that are like uh, larger than 25 MB. So I do have uh, some uh, uh, movies or videos in my phone. So that's why it's like 15 GB in size. Unused files are the files that I have not used in like more than six months. These consist of my uh, music files, like songs that I have in my phone. I've not used in like six months. So I'm not going to delete them for now. Um, I'm just going to go back and click on this clean now button 662 MB of memory has been cleared 
and the next one is actually memory so i'm just gonna click on that it, it's actually calculating how much memory you will gain if you click on the clean now button uh, when you when you click on this button this will this will actually make your phone faster by clearing out this 940 mb of memory uh, i'm just gonna click on that There's one more thing that you should do. If your phone uh, still says it's not 100 or excellent, uh, which is actually in, uh, for me right now, then you can actually click on this button, optimize. For me, it's actually disabled because my phone is 100%. But if it's not for you, even after doing these two steps, then just click on this button and it will actually uh, put your phone into excellent status mode. And this concludes our second part of the video. So let me give you one quick trick. Instead of going to your settings and clicking on, clicking on device management, again and again you can actually have your device management right on your home screen and you know you, you can just click on that and delete all of your of your memory and temporary files just from just right here you don't need to go to your settings again and again so for that what you need to do you actually need to go to your settings first then go to your device management and uh, from top right from the menu option you see this option called show icon on app screen click on that it says your device device maintenance added to your app screen so it doesn't mean that icon has been added to your home screen as of now but the device icon has been actually added to your app screen which is actually for me it's right here so i'm gonna just click on that and just hold it and drag it where you want it to be so like as you see i i do have like two uh, icons now but uh, this is how you can actually create a like shortcut for your device management on your home screen and uh, this way you can actually save time by not going into your settings again and again. I hope you like this video and it was useful for you and, and if it was, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing more videos on the same lines. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.